lovelies so sorry it has been so long since i filmed a video life has been crazy i moved and just work in general ah but because it has been so long i've got two videos for you this weekend so i'm going to be doing a video a get ready with me on this look that i'm wearing today and then also a review of the tartlet 2 in bloom eyeshadow palette um so i will link the eyeshadow palette review in the description below and if you want to see the get ready with me keep watching and also um leave a like and a comment when you think about the video and of course subscribe to my channel for more videos i'm always thankful for any support so let's get started okay first thing i'm going to do is some foundation i already put tons of moisturizer on my face because it's winter and my face is just like crazy right now as you can see my eczema is everywhere all over my neck my face my eyelids Good, love it. The first thing I'm going to be doing is using some foundation. I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection. I absolutely love this. It is such a good foundation. It is $6. It is so worth the price. It is super cheap and just amazing. I use the color 101 Classic Ivory because I am pasty as all get out. So I am just going to be using a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Wow, that's a mouthful. And just put it all over my face. I like to dab it in first just to make sure that it kind of sinks into the skin, and then I'll like buff it out. Now that we've got foundation finished, I'm going in with some concealer. I am using the Estee, Wa Estee Water. <laughs> I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in the color Light 01. If you haven't figured it out, I'm really pasty. So I'm using this. I have been using this for quite a while, and I really do like it. I probably need to get another one, but I also really want to try the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. Everybody talks about it, so I would like to try that next. I am going to put a ton of concealer under my eyes because they are quite baggy, and around my nose, because I have a lot of redness, and my chin, which is just my problem area. And then a little bit on my forehead to kind of highlight and bring down my nose. So now you look like a crazy person, yay! <laughs> And then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender sponge. This isn't the real beauty blender, I think it's from Sephora, but I love it. It has a smaller side and then a bigger side, so I'm going to go ahead and blend all of it in so I don't look as crazy. <laughs> and I'm going to blend it over my eyelids because I get eczema on my eyelids and they look quite red. So I'm going to cover it up. Once you have your concealer blended to your liking, I go ahead and put on powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Yeah, the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder under my eyes only, and then the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder all over my face. So under the eyes, and you just like put the powder there and just let it sit. So you let it sit kind of all funky, and then later on you go in and blend it in. I am using, for the first time, the little pad that came with the Laura Mercier powder. I typically use a brush, but I feel like the brush is just eating up all of the powder. So I wanted to try this. I actually really like how it's working out today. So we're just gonna look crazy, pack it on under the eyes to set, and then this makes them nice and bright. <gasps> it's so dusty. I'm making a huge mess. Okay. Yay, so that my hunter eyes look insane. Let's make the rest of me. So I'm going to use the translucent powder from Laura Mercier and put this on the rest of my face. And I'm going to bake, I hate that word, it seems so weird. I'm going to put the powder and let it sit on my chin and under my nose because that's where I tend to lose my makeup first, mostly just because of eczema and oil. It's a great combination. So on the chin, I'm going to go ahead and pack some powder on and under the nose. I'm looking mighty cool. And then the rest of my face, I'll just lightly powder. And then after a few minutes, I'm going to go back in and take the translucent powder and just go over my whole face to blend everything out so I don't look like this. <laughs> But in the meantime, while it is baking, I am going to do my eyebrows. And I have been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Medium Brown. I love it. I was like, there is so much hype with this. I'm going to try it out. And wow, the hype was right. I really enjoy this product. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm going to do it off camera. <laughs> okay, so now that we have got brows done and powder everywhere, you're just 
looking a mess. So I'm going to blend out the powder to kind of blend it all and make me look a little less crazy. And then do my eyes so my eyebrows don't look like mammoth and then nothing else. Okay, so now that we have blended in all our powder so I don't look as nuts, I am going to go ahead and do my eyes. The first thing I'm going to do is prime them. And I am currently loving the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in the color Champagne. I just love the way it looks. It has obviously a champagne -y shimmer to it. And it just looks really pretty, especially if you're gonna be using some shimmery eyeshadows. It helps to build up that shimmer, I feel. And I just like the formulation of this eyeshadow primer. It's quite creamy, and I really like it. I think this is probably my favorite high-end eyeshadow primer. I have the NARS one, and I have to say, I'm not a huge fan. Ah, I know that's like a cult favorite, the NARS eyeshadow primer. I just feel like it's so drying. It dries out my eyelids and they're already dry to begin with. And it's so tacky that as soon as you put an eyeshadow on, it's really hard to blend it out. So if you put it somewhere or put it too high, the eyeshadow that you're using, it's stuck, <laughs> which is great. If you, I think it's good for the lids, especially if I'm going a little more dramatic. I love it for when I'm gonna put like high pigmentation right on the lids, but just for everyday use, it's just really sticky. Okay, on to the eyes. So today I'm going to be using the Tarte Lit in Bloom palette. Can we just talk about how beautiful the packaging is? Look at it. And then inside, oh, this mirror is huge, so I'm not gonna do it without covering it up. But look at how many eyeshadows. It's gorgeous, it's insane. So to start, I am going to use my MAC 239 flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to take the color Funny Girl, which is right here. It's this really pretty champagne eyeshadow color and I'm going to put that all over the bottom of my lid. So this part. I'm just going to go ahead and dip it in. The color payoff and pigmentation of these eyeshadows is amazing. Hopefully you can still see. This is actually very similar to the color that the Too Faced Shadow Insurance is. So it looks really good when have the two of them together. I am going to take my 221 from MAC, which is a blending brush. I love this brush. It's so fluffy and perfect for everything. And <laughs> I am going to take the color Smarty Pants, which is this color here. And it is pretty peachy when you put it on, but it looks really pretty in the crease. And then I'll probably build with a couple other colors just to darken it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my brush and just blend it through the crease. and just blend it out. Love it, okay. I think, just to add a little dimension to the look, I am actually going to take the color Rebel, which is right here, and it's a darker mauve shade, and I'm gonna stick it just a little bit in the crease in the outer corner, just to add a little bit of dimension to the look, but I wanna keep the eyes very neutral and soft and not go too dramatic, so I'm gonna use a little bit of that. This hail is nice. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. It's falling down in huge chunks too. Scary. Oh well, I'm inside all day, so I don't mind. I think I would like curl up and have a hot chocolate, watch some Harry Potter because my obsession with Harry Potter is real, and just enjoy this lovely day off. I think I enjoy a day off as an adult more than I did in school because I don't have homework or anything that I could be working on. I'm just done. I just have nothing to do, so I'm gonna hang out. And I love that. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, with the Sephora, oh, Pro Small Shadow Brush, number 15, looks like this. I am going to take this color Charmer up here, and I'm just gonna put it on the tops of my lids and right under the arch in my eyebrow to highlight. And then I'm also going to take that same color Charmer and put it in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten them up a little bit more. <laughs> then I'm going to take the MAC 219 Pencil Shader Brush and I'm going to dip it in this really dark burgundy color. And I'm going to line very close to my lash line on the top and also the bottom using it. Just to add a little dimension. And then I'm also gonna take my 239 brush and just blend it. It's a lot of blending your eyeshadows. <laughs> I 
There we go. So pretty. I actually don't think I'm gonna use eyeliner today. I typically use eyeliner most days, but I quite like the way this look looks <laughs> without like a thick black eyeliner. Okie dokie, now that we have got the eyeshadow done, I am going to put on some mascara. I have been absolutely loving the Maybelline Lash <laughs> the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Such a mouthful. Mascara, I think everyone has. It's really popular and it deserves the hype. I am going to use this and just pile it on because I love mascara. Because these blonde eyelashes you cannot see at all. <laughs> so I'm going to pile some mascara on. The brush on this is huge. Insane. I think that's why I like it so much. So those are the eyes finished. They're very natural, just soft, easy. This is kind of my go-to look, the colors that I love, just very neutral. I don't like to go crazy on an everyday basis for super dramatic. So that is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Now it's time to go ahead and finish the face because my face is looking quite flat at the moment. So we're gonna do just a tiny bit of contouring and then put some blush on so I don't look as two-dimensional. <laughs> I am going to take my 168 MAC brush. I'm gonna use this brush and tap. I put a lot of bronzer on that brush, wasn't thinking. Um, and I'm just gonna go in and contour my cheeks just a little bit and under my chin so I don't look as crazy. And I'll probably bring it down my neck just a little bit to cover some of the redness. So let's make our sexy contour face. So next, I am going to take some blush. I think with my super neutral eyes, I am going to use, I'm between two. I have two blushes that are my go-to blushes that I just love so much, and they're both from NARS. I love Orgasm, which is, everybody knows about that. So these are the two, this is Orgasm, so pretty, and this is Outlaw, I'm like completely covering it. It's just really, it looks scary in the pan, but it actually shows up very pretty. I think I'm gonna use this one. It's kind of berry toned and perfect for winter, so. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. You'll need a very little bit on your brush. And I'm using the Real Techniques. It doesn't say. <laughs> it just says Real Techniques by Seminic Chapman. The pink one. I think this is technically br blush. Br <laughs> this is technically their blush brush. And I'm gonna put it on my cheeks. I have quite round cheeks. Um, so once I put blush on, I'm just like, cheese. <laughs> but I don't mind. There we go. Okay, so now that our cheeks are nice and blushed up, they have a little bit more color, I look a little more alive, I am going to put on just a tad bit of highlight. Again, products I wanna try in 2016. I really wanna try the Becca highlighters, but I am currently using the MAC pigment in vanilla just to highlight the tops of my cheeks, my cupid's bow, <laughs> my cupid's bow, and just a little bit extra under the eyes because I love highlight. And it comes in this, so it's the MAC Vanilla Pigment, this little pot. I've had this for like six or seven months now, and it looks like I haven't used any. Amazing product, amazing payoff for what you get. And I'll use my finger to highlight the tops of my cheeks and my face, and then I'll go in with a brush just to do the under my eyebrows and it's super easy to blend and looks quite pretty I definitely need some highlight this time of year because my face is so dry and flat so some highlight makes it look a lot better down the nose Whee! And then I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Shader number 18 and just put a little bit extra right under the arch on my brow. Now that we've got the face fully done as far as makeup, we've got blush, contour, highlight, everything that you need on your face. Not really, you don't need any of it, just if you want to. I quite like makeup, which is my art form of choice. <laughs> so now that my face is done, I'm going in with lipstick and I am obsessed with these. These are the 
Wet n Wild Megalix Balm Stains. What a mouthful. Why do these products have such mouthful names? They need to be easier. Anyway, they are this. They're like a crayon balm stain. The color payoff is gorgeous. They are $2.99, but CVS always has them on sale. So they're like less than $2. No, they're about $2. About $2. And the colors are amazing. So I picked up a new color in Make You Pink. You should go to your local drugstore and pick one of these up because they are amazing. I love this one, the vampy color, and some of their other ones. I'm just going to put it on. So this is the finished look. It is all done. We have got the face, the eyes, the lips. They're a bit pink, but that's how I like it. You could obviously go more neutral or more red or however you want to do it since the eyes are so neutral. But I love this look. It's super easy to wear. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.